songs about them, then they shouldn't do bad things. She's known as, on social media as a Carrie Bradshaw of the TikTok generation, just dishing out tips on dating, relationships, and more. Carrie Burke has a new book, My Real Life Rom-Com, How to Build Confidence and Write Your Own Relationship Rules, where each chapter is dedicated to one of her flings, exes, or crushes. <laughs> and she joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So are your rules consistent through all these different guys, or do you adapt them to the different kind of guy that you're dating? So I like to say this isn't a dating guy per se. So I'm not dictating the rules for how people should date, who they should date. I'm sharing my experiences and letting people take what they will from them because there really is no better teacher than experience. Carrie, how have you seen dating evolve uh, since the pandemic? Uh, as, have you noticed a big change in the way that people are interacting or getting in, making connections? I feel like in general, this generation, my generation, Gen Z, there's a huge shift onto, you know, digital world, online dating. So you see so many people meeting each other these days via dating apps, uh, getting to know each other via FaceTime. We saw a lot of that during the pandemic. A lot of those experiences I write about in the book, there's a chapter called The Pandemic Fling. Personally, I love the face-to-face -face interaction. I think it's all about finding a balance while also accepting that, yes, we are in a digital world. And the reality is that a lot of people do meet each other on dating apps today. So based on your experience, what are some lessons to take away to apply to the problems and pitfalls that pop up in, in that genre? I think... It all starts from within, especially when you're dating someone online. You know, it's dangerous sometimes. You can run into a lot of roadblocks. You need to have the confidence to stand in your own truth and know who you are. And, you know, I make a lot of mistakes in this book. I track a lot of my misadventures, but I always return to self and I know who I am and I recognize my morals and my values. So I think just before you're going about the dating world, just looking in the mirror and going, this is who I am even on your worst days, just standing in your truth and really knowing who you are. Once you can fully love yourself, you can extend that love outwards to others. Is there one certain mistake that you see repeated uh, time after time by, by men or women? Um, you say like, I've seen this before, I know how this will end. Uh, I think situationships are a big trend, especially among Gen Z. So I can speak from experience. I would keep chasing these guys and be engaging in what they call a situationship. So it feels like a relationship, but neither party defines it as a relationship yet. And it can be this really frustrating back and forth where you know it feels like you're in this connection, but it's not. And most of the time in those situations, it never will be. So I feel like that's a really toxic cycle we often get into, just engaging in these situationships where it's kind of on a journey to nowhere, but you feel like you're in it. You feel like you're being fooled all the time. So in my book, I define what it is to be in a situationship, how to get out of it, how to recognize when it's real, and how to recognize when there's any potential, if there's any potential in it. All right, I guess we'll have to pick up the book to find out. You can get more at CarrieBurke.com or follow her on social media. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Carrie. Thank